Alrighty, in this video what we're going to do is, well, from the previous video anyways, I had set up to where we could see all the possible attachments, click on them, that kind of stuff. Now what we want to do is when we click on it, we want to actually have it replace the attachment. So if we head over to W underscore attachment, we already have our on clicked. Pretty much all we need to do is, what do you call it, call, well, add attachment. It's basically as simple as that. The only thing is we need to get access to the attachment component that this is supposed to own. So what we're going to do is make a new variable, call this one attachment component, and give it the type of attachment component. So object reference, and since editable, and expose on spawn. Quite simple. So we're going to grab this attachment component and search for add attachment. That's basically it. So now we need to set that up. So in tutorial customizer and populate possible attachments under create widget, we need to refresh so that way we can pass in the possible attachment or sorry, the attachment components. We're just going to plug this right in like so, just so it has access to it. And that's pretty much all. So now we can just grab the attachment class, which as you can see, it does require an actor. So what we can do is we can just simply cast it well, to an actor, or we can store the cast right here. So it kind of depends on what you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and cast it to an actor. So cast actor class. And plug it in like so. And then in our case, we do want to make sure destroy current attachment is checked. So now when we hit play, go to sites, I'll select the optic. Now we have the magnified optic. We can go back and forth. If you want to add a forward grip, we can do so. And obviously I need to reposition that and set up the left hand IK a little bit better. If I want to go ahead and, well, I only have one muzzle device, so I can't really do anything with it. But you can kind of see the pattern here. So we have our way to add attachments. Now let's set up a way to remove them. So what we're going to do is set up basically some kind of basic logic. And what I mean by that is when we click the button, if the attachment class is invalid, which in this case, the cast is simply going to just fail, what we want to do is we want to remove the attachment. So if I search for remove, and i got to find it, am I being blind? Unless it's called destroy. Oh yeah, destroy current attachment. We're just going to call destroy current attachment instead. So no matter what, casting is tight is a what do you call it? A safe. So no matter what, like even if it's a null pointer, it should still be fine. I think that's the same way in Blueprint. So if attachment class is invalid and this cast runs, either way the cast should fail and it should run destroy current attachment. So now we need to set it up to where we can actually make that happen. So inside the tutorial customizer, before we even run this for each loop, we want to do this exact same logic right here for this little section. So we can copy that and move everything from the for each loop over and paste it in. And just simply plug it up and plug it up. That's pretty much it. So what we'll see here is my hit sites. We now have an empty one. So if I click it, okay, so do, do, do. Oh yeah, that's right. We're not passing in the, uh, forgot to pass in the attachment, what do you call it? Attachment component. So plug that in and then do it. So if I click here, you can see the site is now gone. Remove the muzzle device. There is no forward grip, so nothing's going to happen. But I can go through and I can add and remove as I want. So very simple. So now we can set up a way to make it, you know, clear that, okay, this is a remove attachment kind of thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to call again, set brush from texture, plug that into cast failed. And I do not know the texture name. It's like cross. Oh, there's a cross. Um, Valid. All right, let me find the texture really quick. 
Okay, so I called it X mark in the uh, default content. So T underscore X mark, like so. File, save. And now we have an X. So that indicates, hey, I want to remove the attachment. And yes, it's a beautiful drawing. So that's pretty much all there is to this. And that's all I'm going to do to wrap up this video. Now for the time being, we can go ahead and play in the editor. And I have the wrong, <laughs> yeah, I still have the broken M4 set up for here. So I'll just try to run this at least like this so you can visually see it. So as I go through, I can remove my sites. You can see they are changing and they are replicated. Same thing with muzzle devices, you know, that kind of stuff. But again, so like everything behind the scenes already set up to be replicated, so you're pretty much good to go. So that's going to wrap up this video. And I think there was something else that I wanted to, to do. I just can't remember. But if there's a video after this one, that, then there was clearly something that I just, I'm brain dead on. But anyways, I'll see you in the next possible maybe video.